Geek Dad Life presents Toy Geeks, a live toy talk show. Tonight we're going to talk about the reveal of the price tag on the new NECA TMNT Sewer Lair. And whether or not it's worth its hefty price. We'll talk about all of that and more tonight on Toy Geeks. Hello everybody and welcome to Toy Geeks. My name is Jay and with me filling in for John tonight is my good friend Ken from Toy Connections. Ken, how are you doing tonight? Well, I tr I asked John if I could borrow his pipes because this sewer doesn't come with any pipes like the old 1989 version. But uh, he 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 I think he might have found it a little awkward, so he didn't really answer that message. So you know, I may have to tell him I was just kidding or something like that. So yeah. Um. Uh. Yes. Uh. Yeah. I was. Uh, I was at John's shop yesterday. Doing well, still super duper busy. Uh. But uh, he he sends his love uh, to. To the, to the GDL Toy Geekery universe. Um, I said, people are missing you. They're like, and, you know, just so you know, you're loved and you're missed, John. Very uh, much so. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, pumped to be here tonight. Uh, I feel like the toy collecting community is a buzz and a blaze over uh, this, this sewer lair, and it's, it's $300 price tag. I feel like uh, every, all of our friends, all of our toy tuber friends, has some iteration of the uh, what? What is going? This is you know whatever whatever. So uh, of course we got to lead off uh, with that today. Uh, also got a pretty cool looking uh, Ghostbuster toy, I guess you could say. Um, your uh, Delta Seventeen is is moving along. I want definitely want to talk about that today. Uh, we got another to uh, Target Geekathon Geek Fallout, whatever the heck they're calling this one. Uh, so more money to be spent there. Uh, and what else? Oh, we got to check it on the charts, too. We, we still have two crowd funds going on. Uh, I feel like they've kind of like, I don't know, we've kind of been low key, not thinking about them too much. So we definitely got to check in on both of those. So, Ken, we got our work cut out for us tonight is what I'm saying. Lots to talk about. Lots to talk about. Perfect. So that 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 um, answers the the question I was nervous about all week in leading up to this. There's no stump Ken tonight. Because no, we no. Have stump all this Ken. other stuff. To yes. <laughs> unless I will say this is a live show, unless someone is like, oh, I'm going to get Ken and wants to email in to geekdadlife at gmail.com uh, some accessories to try and stump Ken. It will be wrong answers only if they go that route. So, you know, you'll be like, they'll, they'll send a picture of me next to this fat dog and they'll be like, name the dog. And I'll be like, Odie, you know, Marmaduke, Lassie, whatever. Right. So, anyway. Man um anyway. so let's let's say hello to the chat uh no stump ken please oh so they see they're with you on this one maybe they want stump ken um whatever happens uh listen i'll just ooh, oh i love this ken or <laughs> accessories only ken. a man after my own heart it's fortress uh, maximus i like that <laughs> um okay let's say hello to the chat it is hopping on this sunday night let me scroll back as best as i can tons of chats in here uh let's see we got uh we got uh, omar dartherian quip j mac brick something in the house uh he was streaming earlier today as well definitely check that out if you haven't yet uh samuel hunter stanley joey curiel toy sorceress um who's going to be subbing in for john in a couple of weeks if i'm remembering yep. the schedule correctly September so she'll be on said, soon yeah. um yeah. ramen toy uh it's just one of the hottest toy makers right now is everyone's everyone's loving what the ramen is is pouring into our toy. I got a ramen toy home. video in a couple days. Stay tuned, Ooh. Ace. Ooh. Um, uh, Cone Killer Confuser, Riley Bob is here. Uh, let's see, Wheel Joker, Doralaxian is here. Nostalgia Unbox. I was actually hanging out with uh, Jonathan today. Did a little uh, toy hunt uh, video with him. Just a little bit of a tease there. Uh, a Nostalgia Unbox toy hunt. Uh, just be on the lookout for that. Uh, I found something. I'll be sharing it in uh, After Dark today, the thing that I found during our toy hunt. We have Matt Bush here. Uh, Damien is here. Evo Genius. Fake Wood Dable. Mecha Man Blade. Daniel K. Andy Stews. Tom Troll. Overman. Alex Aro is here. Christopher. Samuel. Jamal. Scott. Treasures is here. Cardboard Galaxy. Mint with card is here. <laughs> uh, Alpha Magnus. 
<laughs> people, if you have ever met Alpha Max in real life, he's like seven feet tall. Uh, mm -hmm. He's super tall um, and a lovely, lovely human being. Uh, Drake is here. Jason, Sean's toy room. Uh, KJ Smith in the house. Definitive. Neil Hunter High. Two guys talking toys. Slave to Leia. So many play sets. So little money. Indeed. Wheel Joker. So many more. Thank you so much for hanging out uh, with us tonight. Okay. Ken. So I feel like rumblings of this came out of PowerCon, right? Because uh, NECA was at PowerCon. They had a whole setup. They had the sewer layer diorama there. And I can't remember if it was in a panel or something. I just, it was kind of like whispers uh, within the, 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 the convention floor of a $300 price tag for this thing. And and even, you know, friends of the channel, like, you know, Mad Hatter and I saw John Box. But I think I, I think I saw on Mad Hatter's. Where it's just like, I think it's probably gonna be 250. Maybe the 300 is just to scare us and they'll do 250 and then we'll be and then we'll be happy it was 250 or, or something along those lines. Well, lo and behold, it was uh, officially dropped for pre order on Thursday, right? I think. Um, and what it is, what is it gonna be? $299.99. Uh, and you know, I'm in the the turtle. Was it the TMNT to turtle van Facebook group? And literally, there's like posts like saying this is horribly priced, and the other ones are like, "Stop complaining! At least you're getting something." Like it was, it, it just pandemonium. Everybody's yelling at everybody. But Ken, what was what was your first read when you saw uh, what this thing was going for? Okay, first reaction. Ooh, two ninety nine ninety nine. You look at the picture. Okay, so what else does it come with? <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Uh, oh, okay, talking to myself. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> what it was, right? Um, Pixel Dan showed um, on his video, he had the two side by side, yes. and he, he showed it could fit the van in the middle. My first thought was, oh, cool, there's like two rooms there. They, you know, the second room is empty. Oh, wait, it only comes with one of those yeah. units. So. Mm -hmm. For two of them, you're. It, let's say you wanted to get two of them. Yeah. You start getting into Thundercats, you know, Cats Lair price, and you're like, "Are you getting half as much um, compared to half the price?" And yes. my gut instinct tells me no. Now, this is without looking at the numbers and crunching the numbers and knowing what NECA's licensing fees yeah. are and knowing the complexity of this. Gut instinct tells you just compared to what else you know out there, mm -hmm. you know. Um, tells me this is high for what we are getting so yeah yeah you know and, um and uh, you know i i think what's what's fascinating about like so here's the thing uh trevor who like heads up the the neck of turtles line mm -hmm. an incredible human being like really down to earth really chill loves turtles and clearly has put out honestly a definitive ninja turtles toy line i mean it has all the the movies yes. the tunes the comics uh, archie comics like has i i opted for super seven and did not go down the NECA route and when i see the totality of what NECA has done it's it's unbelievable it's incredible but NECA has always kind of felt price just because they put out so much like i at one point i was going to buy three mirage turtles and it was like a hundred bucks for three figures and so it's always had a bit of a heavy, you know, uh, uh, cost to it. But this at $300 for three walls and a floor, as well as some furniture, just doesn't, um, I think why it's, why it's getting everybody so bent out of shape is just that the logic doesn't connect. Um, and I think that's what, when you have these types of situations where like Engine of Vengeance was three fits, like, ah, it just doesn't feel, it just doesn't make sense logically price-wise, right? Um, and so then it's just like, well, why? Why is this so much? Are they trying to make more money? Or and that's where we have all these theories <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, but you know, because even I looked at it and I saw that accessories pack, and you know, me kind of half reading, not really paying all that much attention. I was like, oh, okay, well, at least you're throwing in this accessories pack. That was like 50 bucks. So, you know, there's extra value there. It's like, oh no, wait, that's that's extra too. You have to buy that separately uh again this time. And and yeah, I just to me. Personally, one, I wasn't going to buy this no matter what. Anyway, I don't collect the Toon Turtles, so I don't. I don't have any skin in this game. But as just an objective observer, as of someone that has bought stupid things 
you know, clearly I've already backed the 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 ghosts. I'm going to back the cat slayer. So clearly I, I spend money on stupid things. This one just doesn't pass any of those filters. Like I could see myself dropping 300 or it's so cool. I'm going to spend $300 on this. Yeah. So when you say, uh, just back up for a second, you're going to yeah. back the cat slayer. If you haven't yet, does it mean you don't get the key or does everyone get the, does everyone That's get a the great key? Question. I should ask Kyle, but I think everyone gets the key. Okay. If not, it's not yeah. the end of the world. R um, right. Right. Um, <laughs> Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Wasn't there a city diorama for one hundred and fifteen dollars that goes 150, on top? One hundred fifty, I think. One hundred one fifty. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I was listening one, to oh, Mega sorry, J. You're saying one fifteen. Sorry. Yeah. One fifteen. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, one fifteen. There was. Uh, there was. Um, I, I was listening to Mega J's channel earlier. He had Oz, Toy Sorceress, and a bunch of friends yeah. on, and they were talking about that. They're like, okay, if that's one fifteen, how is this three? And there's no top to it right mm -hmm. and i'm just gonna keep deferring back to the 1989 sewer layer i mean you've got the this thing pulled up so i won't i won't share screens i'll just pull it up on my phone here got myself yeah. ready um but like you know here's a scene from wheeljack's lab um yeah. website you know you can see there it's got yeah. the swing it's got the roof um it's, it's got the super mario style green pipes on the side yeah. um or the john pipes as i like to call them um and there's just so much there you know you get a spiked ball and everything and it's like okay if that's you know if you got all that back in 1989 if you were gonna if you were gonna charge us 300 bucks give us all that yeah <laughs> you know what i mean yeah. but that's again this is gut feel talking so i well, don't know like, yeah but i think but, that's kind of the, that's the trade-off here right where if this was a an homage to the sewer layer play set the, the original playmates one which which, in fairness, NECA has not gone down the Playmates route, right? It would make more fair. sense for Super that's 7 fair. to do that. Okay, um, that's fair. But, yeah, to me, I think where the the disconnect is, and, and again, they're doing dioramas. They're not changing this up or anything. This isn't a shocker. But um, to me, this is a diorama. It's not a playset. And, and even more so, I think it just makes it feel that much more overpriced, like, we were we were harping on the the Jurassic Park gate being two fifty. I was like, oh, this is a gate, and I'm like, this is just this is just a, a you know a shoebox with. I, again, I'm simplifying. I know it's nicer than that, but it's a shoebox for three hundred dollars. And and I think the other thing that makes it tough too is I've I've seen so many customizers and so many people have made really nice looking you know sewer layers of similar quality with just three walls and a floor, right? Uh, a hundred percent, right? I mean, if your Alpha Magnus is size, then yeah, this is probably a shoebox with those massive <laughs> shoes, right? But like, it's it's still, uh, it, it it's again, it's one of those things that like, yeah, I guess you're right. Like, I was approaching it from the playset perspective, and that's actually yeah. the after dark topic tonight is, you know, yes. um, playsets versus dios, right? And um, this does scream more dio. That yeah, it is. That's all right? it is. So, um, I mean, you know, when you look at it, it looks nice. If they didn't put the price up. You go, ooh, that's nice. If I'm a NECA collector Absolutely. and I love the Toon Turtles, I, I, yeah. I got to have this. Yeah. But then you also know what you've paid for similar price stuff in the past, like even mm -hmm. with inflation and everything, right? Having said that, a diehard fan and completist is going to get this sure. anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm, you know, like I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of person who I really, really, really like a toy line, right? Mm -hmm. And the price looks a little high. I probably get it anyway because I kind of feel like, you know, I'm pot committed at this point with everything yeah. else. True. Right? True. Having said that, simply looking at this on its own as a singular entity, oh, it's, it's hard to justify that 300. Not impossible to justify, but it's hard to justify it. Yeah, even if I was a NECA tuned, I would have to hesitate because this is everything you get. You get three walls, the floor, couch, chair, rug, pipes, and some, you know, wall furniture or wall art and stuff like that, right? Yeah, um, absolutely. And yeah. it just feels yeah. so sparse for the money that you're putting into it. And I'm curious to see, I mean, maybe Ron Torres, I, I may yeah. have missed it. Give but me one second. Yeah, sure, that's fine. Keep going, keep going. Um, but uh, Sue says, for what I can see, the NECA original street action figure diorama, so there's less tooling involved, what compared to the street scene or this. But uh, to me, I've always heard, and please, Raman, please correct me if I'm wrong here, that tooling for a vehicle is far more expensive than a playset. And your vehicle was 250 and this is 300 and the vehicle has wheels it moves it's got electronics in it and it was 250 and your street scene is 150 and i think this is where the disconnect is where this is so much more or just again you're doing the mental math in your own head on this which again 
Toy collector mental math is absurd. We make it work for whatever we want at any given time. But I think the reason why there's such a disconnect is it pushes so beyond our reality distortion feel that us as toy collectors make on spending money on things we don't need. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm curious to see what, you know, whose strategy was behind this in terms of the pricing of it. Um, so uh, <laughs> it does include the foam board that goes on top, by the way, a hundred dollar value. <laughs> um, and yeah, I know to Tony to still can't get over. This costs more than the turtle van. Absolutely. It absolutely. Uh, that feels that way. I have a couple of super chats. I will get to those in a second. Um, ramen toy. It depends. Jay it depends on how the vehicle looks compared to the play set. So, I mean, I, I'm curious to where ramen toy sides on this thing, but to me as a un, I don't make toys. I don't, I don't have any knowledge of that. To me, I think the van is cooler than this and it's cheaper. Like if I had to choose one, one or the other in my display, what I would want more, it would be the van without even thinking of price. Well, my thought on this is now that you've got Ramen Toy in the chat, and I know he's been there for a little while, Liz. I bet he could produce something for 300 and maybe give us a little bit more. Okay, maybe that's just a dare. That's a dare more than anything Well, can else. I just I, – I did make a little <laughs> meme. I did make a little meme ahead of today. Hold on. I, oh, snap. Let me make sure I have it up here. Um, so, yeah, I did make a meme anticipating uh, Ramen Toy being in the chat tonight. So I'm, I'm glad Ace is able to see this. Um, but, yeah, this is, this is a little meme I made, made up here. Um, <laughs> um now again quip did a variation of this in our discord so quip i'll give you credit for the joke but this is immediately immediately what came to my mind when <laughs> the price was so high on this thing i was like oh ace ace is just you know mm, mm, let's go <laughs> you know? Um, it's uh, perfect <laughs> I heard Ace was a busy boy at PowerCon. It was a popular booth, very popular booth uh, over there, doing a really good job, really hustling, really grinding. Mm. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see what Ramen does. Uh, but um, but I do want to bust in a couple super chats here. We got a ten dollar yes. one from Charlie Weaver. Thank you so much, Charlie Weaver. I really feel like they should have created flat pack empty wall and floor modules, Lego slash IKEA style and then sold the accessory packs and smaller packouts at cheaper price points. What's your, th what's your thoughts on that, Ken? Maybe like almost a la carte your sewer layer diorama. Mm, you know what? That's actually a good idea. You know, let mm -hmm. people kind of customize their own. There's more thinking involved up front. Mm -hmm. You know, and then things sell out and you go, oh, darn, I wanted, you know, the working TV yeah. set or something like that. Or, you know, I sure. wanted the random hammock for uh, Michelangelo to sleep in yeah, um, or something. I'm just making things up now. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's true. Like, I think for whatever, I mean, this is kind of modular to begin with, right? Because they're saying, oh, there's going to be Donnie's lab and the kitchen and you can put all these things together. You can put the street scene on top of it. Um and it looks incredible, right? It looks really good. Um, but that's a lot of money. Like you say these three things, uh, or at least just the three uh, uh, boxes, your shadow boxes, that's nearly $1,000 for three shadow boxes, three scenes versus yeah. the Super 7 Cats layer that is gigantic, um, Has it has your your uh, dining hall it has the uh, panthros uh, lab it has multiple levels it has comp like it has everything for you know you're all in price eight hundred dollars oh. taxes shipping all that kind of stuff well according to mega j it was literally the elephant in the room <laughs> at the uh at freaking power con right well, so it's, yeah you had the cat slayer there and I, I said it multiple times at power con it looked even bigger and more imposing at power con than it did at comic con because it was the biggest thing there and um and yeah i i think uh I, I think that's where people have been so excited about the cat slayer even if you aren't a diehard thundercats fan it's just the price makes it and I know it's kind of silly to say nearly a thousand dollars is the price is more accessible, but you see what you're getting and you, you, you see it's like a huge bang for your buck on that versus, you know, uh, a shadow box, this uh, diorama. We've got a dare super seven to do a, to do a sewer layer right now and see what they can do with it. Right. I mean, honestly, I want, if the cat's layer does well enough, 
I just want a Technodrome. So just make a Technodrome. <laughs> That's fair. That's 100% fair. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, create, uh, here we go. Toy Anxiety. If it sells well, all of these debates are meaningless. So let's talk about that. I do want to post in this other Super Chat before we get to that, because I do want to talk about that. Uh, Andrews Gaty's Toys. You could get all this furniture at Ikea for the same price. <laughs> You go to pay the shipping though, uh, <laughs> and you may have to assemble you, it yourself. If you go to IKEA, like you go to the to the showroom. That's the that's part of the fun. Get yourself some <laughs> Swedish meatballs, you know. Um, yes, at the cafeteria. <laughs> uh, and yeah, there's light up parts and um, uh, cardboard galaxy. Seeing cats layer in person was a come to Jesus moment. So freaking, it's. <sighs> It's incredible. I think it's an all-time great playset, uh, and it, you know, and that's just seeing it behind glass. You know, um, uh, no need to debate anymore. <laughs> well, so okay, let's think about this. From is what's interesting here. I gotta say, is this isn't a this isn't a crowdfund. The sales are not public, so we have no idea how successful or unsuccessful this thing is. But let's just play the conjecture game. Do you think this is more successful at $300 a pop? Like they'll make more money even though they're going to sell less of them versus higher MOQ but lower lower price point. And did the NECA crew think to themselves, we're going to own... We're, we think we can only sell 2000 of these. So we're going to have a lower MOQ, thus a higher price point. And that's, that's the choice they made versus they think, well, if we did it at a buck 50, we'll sell 10,000 of them. And do you think that if that was the math they were doing in their head, do you think that was the right call? They're if they do it that way, they're ignoring collector gut feel, right? Because collectors mm -hmm. always go price value, right? Like let's just look, I mean, okay, let's take the collector out of it. I yeah. go into my favorite restaurant. I see $29.99 steak, mashed potatoes on the side, you know, some, <laughs> yeah, some sure. vegetables or whatever. And yeah. then I see piece of toast with peanut butter on it, $14.99. Oh, it's sure. cheaper. But, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's a really, sure. really rudimentary analogy. Sure. But I'm saying that yeah. I, I go with the $29.99 steak and mashed potatoes all mm -hmm. day long. At that. You know, I, I, I'm not saying that this is that this yeah. layer is, you know, obviously sure. a, a slice of bread sure. and peanut butter. But yeah. I had to really go extreme with the analogy to sure, try to make my point. Yeah. Right. But like I said, people who are diehards, they're going to do it. Right. Yep. Like Lord knows half my transformer collection. I probably overpaid for anyway. Right. So yep. I'm not really one to talk. I can say I, I can relate, but gut feel from the outside looking in. That's my thoughts. Yeah. Right. So, yep. yeah, no, I, I think that's completely fair. Um, and yeah. And to me, it's and I it's, I think a couple of something along this line, two guys talking toys. I think at two hundred dollars, they sell twice as many of these. And then there's another chat here that I do want to plus in. Um, Soulcraft, yes. Uh, it seems this was meant to be modular. How are you going to do that for three hundred dollars? And I think that is the other thing that's kind of got people frustrated. Is you you want people to buy all of the different modules to put this together, right? If you're a fan and collector, you want to do all of them. And um, if with this price being so high, I think I even heard, well, if it doesn't sell well, they won't get to the other things, you know, the other uh, the kitchen and the and the Donnie's lab. And to me. If, if this is one of three, if this is, you know, episode one and there's still two and three to come out, that's a huge risk from a business perspective to say, we're going to make this thing double the price of the street diorama, $50 more than the turtle van. And the success or failure of this dictates whether or not we'll do more of these things. Mm. It almost makes more sense to be like, you know, almost like first hits free, like bring this one in low. And then just inch it up, like you know, that's that's di that's inch diabolical. it up and blame it on inflation, right? Sure, right. but but you don't start super high on the first one, and then maybe the next ones are cheaper, or maybe they're even more. And then as a collector, my head's like, well, damn, like this is already three hundred dollars. By the time I get the whole set, which is what I want, I want the kitchen, I want Donnie's lab. I'm already, you know, I can't drop a thousand dollars. Like the, the the this is since this is one of three, and even more. I think the, the the high price tag also just doesn't make sense from a business perspective. 
right? Yeah, I, I would I would call their bluff on that, right? Like there's if if you have the success of the van, you got the success of the figures, NECA is doing generally well as a yeah. company, from what I can tell. Yep. They've got all their other IPs. If this yep. doesn't do well and they come in with Donnie's lab, don't be surprised if that thing is all of a sudden like gut feel, the price suddenly becomes a lot more fair. I'm not gonna throw out numbers because you know sure. we don't know what it looks like, but I don't know, right? Um yeah. Right. Or they just listen to fans and they come back tomorrow and say, okay, this is now 225 or whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know. Right. Just shooting from the hip here. No, right? that, 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 is that what sense. we do. That's what we do online as toy tubers. Absolutely. I mean, this so. is like, again, we're not, we don't work for these companies. We, we're just collectors that are sharing opinions that are no, but you know, greater than anybody else here in the chat or anybody that watches this or, or, or what have you. It's not a, to me, I know for a fact the people that run this turtle line are fans, right? And there's a business side of it that probably supersedes whatever fanship is there. And whoever made the business decision here made the decision. But again, from a toy collector, this just seems way too high, way too high. Mm. Um, but you know what? If it sells where well, then so be it. Like it's but I, I'm I I wasn't gonna buy it either way, but I am seeing almost like 50-50 in the TMNT community that's like Maybe yeah, less than 50 50 of i'm not going to buy this thing so i'm going to put a, a thing in the chat right now at yeah. 300 bucks how uh, if you uh how likely are you to buy this layer mm -hmm. um and i on, on on that same note right like i mean if people people buy it and they're happy with it then you know i'm happy for them Right. Like, you know, you look back 10 years from now, they're just going to be happy that, that they Absolutely. have this thing regard because you probably forgot what you paid for it 10 years yep. later. Right. And, you know, Lord knows that I've gone on eBay when something sold out and then I paid an inflated price for it for yep. something that wasn't worth it, but I had to have it. I just feel like we're getting the eBay price up front here rather than yeah. <laughs> after the fact. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, uh. um, I, there's not going to be a yes, no, hell no. It's just yes or no. So please, I'm also going to put in another poll after this one how likely would you buy it if it was two hundred dollars you know we'll, we'll kind of split the difference that's a great here. question um so let me there's more super chats here so i do want to get to those uh toy sorceress hello jay and ken congrats to ken on delta 17 agreed thank you big congrats uh ramen toy with a what, what's hong kong dollars what do they call those i don't even know do you know oh hong kong dollars uh, yeah, sure. Maybe <laughs> that, that's what i called them when i was there 10 years ago okay so all right there you go hong kong dollars. um uh, <laughs> yeah. great meeting you in person jay don't want the wrong impression that we are playing ourselves in these chats we're just part of everyone here we want to be a part of it listen ramen i think you know uh what you have done very well and i think why you have endeared yourself to the toy collecting community is that you are you are one of us right like when you make something or go after something you kind of are representing you know fan demand in a way that big companies won't do now uh you could also say like well you're not doing licensing or whatever but you know that's that's a fair criticism to be had but at the very least uh, ace you've you've you're filling in gaps where the big players don't want to play right and i think that's what has endeared yourself to, to so Ace is just like one of the boys. That's what yeah. I like about him. You know, we, we talk, yeah. we talk all the time, like yeah. because of the time zone difference, I'll wake up to 10 texts from him. Then he'll wake yeah. up to 10 texts from me. That's yeah. just how it is, you know? Yep. So. And, uh, and, and it wouldn't still wouldn't work if you didn't put out really cool stuff, uh, which very clearly you're doing um, and growing and getting better with each iteration, right? Like he probably admit his first stuff maybe wasn't so great, but like each, each release that he's doing, gets better and better and better right it's cool to see that progression which is neat you learn well. as you go along right so, exactly you know. so it's been really cool uh gray fox uh, well, uh congrats to be a member for a year thank you so much riley about five dollars super chat the worrying part of the turtle layer success is if it's a success does this give NECA a reason to creep prices up faster a la hasbro and others Ooh. so okay this is something that kind of took storm on the engines of vengeance front where it's like, well, if we back this at 350, then we're supporting all, you know, which the, the math didn't seem right there for a lot of people. Do you feel there's a little bit of that as well? Like that, could that come to haunt this set where like we we have to, because I'm a full believer in vote with your wallet. Yeah. And to me, my wallet would say, and again, my wallet's stupid. I make a lot of dumb decisions financially on toys, but mine would be like, eh, this is a bridge too far. But uh, do you think there's a bit of that as well? Just like if it's a success, 
is the next module going to be 350, you know? At some point, they will hear the fan outroar in their ears. Um, I'm I'm sure someone in the boardroom is thinking that exact thing. They're saying, "Oh yeah, if, if this is if this is a hit, we can do this again, or we can make the next one." Yeah, three twenty five to three fifty. So, uh, damn, that's more to think about. Let's put it that way. Yeah, more to think about. Um, and then uh, Brian Carr. Uh, we need to blame the real villain here, Johnny Markup, and it kind of ties into what you're saying there, Ken. Where uh, the um, uh, they're probably looking and seeing the secondary market prices on, you know, is it the tune one? It's like three hundred bucks on eBay or something like that, and they're probably like, "Well, they're paying that on eBay," but that's always kind of a false. It's not that's not the true value of something, right? Because that's, that's only yeah. That's say you the sold two, a thousand of them. There's like maybe a hundred people buying them on eBay at the inflated prices or or what have you. It's a smaller it's a smaller carve out of everyone that got them at normal price, right? That's uh that's the FOMO price, right? Yes. You know, you don't yes. go you don't go FOMO price up front, right? So, yep. yeah. 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 Anyway. Exactly. FOMO price does not account for the entirety of whatever audience you're trying to get to. It does that's account right. for some of it, but not all of it. Um Matt Bush $10 super chat making dumb decisions, classic <laughs> J behavior. Absolutely. Mine is just uh, Craig and I are very similar. Uh, we're like very, very similar, like eerily similar in a lot of ways. Um, you weren't uh, too Mike... similar on Wednesday, but okay, well, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, he was much funnier than me. That's for sure. Uh, Mike Hex, five dollars super chat. Thanks, Mike. Hardest part is the dragon painting and rug. Rest is really easy to DIY. I even designed giveaway rug patterns is easy under a hundred uh, for DIY, right? And I've heard that argument. I've I've seen Mike's. It looks great. Um, is you know like, well if you're gonna get someone to do this for you custom it would probably be three hundred dollars and I get that mm -hmm. but that's like somebody doing a custom made one off versus this is a company making however many of these that they're making there should be a a savings there from the manufacturing process versus handmade pro or bespoke process right mm -hmm. um and I, and I think that is the trade off um uh, Dork Lair says if it is a success wouldn't that mean that it was price right. But to be clear, I highly <laughs> doubt it would be a success. I, I think it's a fair point. Like, NECA could be proven right. Like, it, maybe it's a huge success. So like, okay, well, we accurately price this thing to yeah. demand. Dork is a great place to look for uh, Mythic Legion's reviews, by oh, the way. So, yes. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't know yet. So, anyway. Um, But, yeah, I, I think, uh, yeah, it's it's interesting to see how that plays out. Uh, I'm trying to I, – I would like – does anybody in the chat have, like, a I think this – is great because at right now, Ken, it's an 89% no <laughs> on the poll. Um, so for the 10%, I, I'm just I I want to be fair to this discussion to have uh uh you know somebody on the other side of this because it does feel very one-sided. We think no, this is this is not this is not worth it. Um no excuse for the price. Uh, collectors really stood together against the Rancor, so we need to stick together and not buy. But you know what? Honestly, the Rancor got really close, um, more so than the, the Engine of Vengeance. Um, uh, yeah, no, that's the scalper price, not the FOMO price. Um, uh, there Training you go. Dojo you would be so. more interesting. Uh, where did uh, Dole had a really funny line? Here we go. Maybe NECA will have a coupon day or something. <laughs> look at that, uh, look at the avatar of his, too. It's like he's yeah, training to be an MMA. It's like he's training to be an MMA he's, fighter. I, you like know, that. talk about guns. He's been working out. He's looking. He's looking really good, doll. You're looking. Last time I saw him in person, he had a jacket on, and uh, uh, he was kind of hiding him a little he bit. Was, he was. Yeah, it was. It was the beginning of April, so it was still a bit cold up here. So <laughs> that's right. You know. It's Canada. It's a lot colder. Um, Brian Merchant. It's not a surprise. NECA Ultimates are pushing forty dollars. Exact. NECA's not cheap, right? I think mm -hmm. we compare them to the Super Seven, where it's like fifty-five dollars a figure or something. But at retail, NECA, like I said, I, bought, I I attempted to buy three figures and it was a hundred bucks. So it's not cheap. It's not a. It's not for the the faint of heart. Uh, and instead of buying the hundred dollars on that, I saved that money for the Playmates, you know, TMNT Mutant Mayhem toys. And I had a lot more fun. And my kids played with them and everything. I had 
I had a great time for like 200 bucks. I bought every turtle mutant mayhem toy action figure vehicle play set. Like, and it was awesome. It was a fun time. Well, you reviewed the mutant may mayhem uh, sewer layer about a couple of weeks yes. ago. Right. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like, you know, there's another sewer layer. I mean, it's completely different. Like it's so very much apples different. and oranges. But yes. Still. Yes. Right. And it's a lot bigger, but I would say this thing is probably much nicer than that one. It's, that is clearly yeah. a toy uh, yes. for kids. Looks cool, um, but it's not. It's not this level. But it, but that's seventy bucks, you know. Um, uh, I think a hundred dollars per wall is great. <laughs> Kidding. Um, <laughs> Uh, smugglers, not to be about Jay. I bought the sewer layer, but it's more because of my NECA TMNT completion sickness, not because I feel it's a good deal. I thought it was two fifty for the two dioramas, and still didn't feel great about it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, I agree. But 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 that's what I mean by like if your NECA collection, if you look at this and you say, "Ooh, that would really look good in my collection. I could do this." You start to get your own like personal value into yes. it. And that's where comments like this make a lot of sense and help enlighten us because there mm -hmm. this is someone who's truly truly deep into the game rather than somebody from the outside looking at this as an isolated item. Yeah. Right? So that's why there's always going to be that other perspective, hence that yep. 11%, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Yeah. Yeah. Uh, currently, it's still sitting at eighty nine percent. So I'm going to end the poll there, um, and I do want to put another poll out. Like, how many people would have bought this at two hundred dollars? Right? Should I do two hundred or one fifty? What should I put this at? I'd go two. Two. I'd go okay. two. Right? Because I think at one fifty, I think it becomes unanimous, and then it becomes eighty nine right. eleven right. the other way. You're so, right. so how many would buy at two hundred dollars? Right? And this is not an exact science here. We're just kind of asking the chat. How many would buy at two hundred dollars? Let's ask the community. Um. All right, there you go. So, now, so it was 89% said no at the $300. Now we've put $200 to you all. Um, Samuel Hunter, be strong, fellow turtles, and say no to $300. Um, Battle Armor Dad, it's not that exciting a diorama either. The turtles don't really fight anymore in the living room. They just watch TV and eat pizza with weird toppings. Right? It's, it's just, it isn't a very exciting space. Uh, I love this donut, Daddy. Rancor and Jurassic Gates are saying, Okay, Jan, at the sewer <laughs> layer. <laughs> love that. I love that so much. That's one of my favorite gifts. Um, Ramen Toy says, so this layer will not be at Target and Walmart retail? Uh, no. Uh, this it's is not NECA's a website release. as far as I know. Yeah. So. Um, Generation Retro, if this is a failure and not many buy, would it end up being rare and a good investment to those that did? Too expensive for me, 100%. 100%. This is an interesting take, right? If John was here... He might be the meme with the, you know, rubbing his hands, looking at his lips, because that's a that's a good investment if they only make a thousand of these things or something, right? Well, that's what he was saying about the dragonfly. Like he said, if, yeah. if the dragonfly hits the Galactus numbers, then it's not as good of a purchase for him. You know what I mean? But if it if it if it hits smaller numbers and he carries five in his store, yeah, it makes more sense, right? So I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Tivo, if this was a few years ago or in my collection, I had room for it. I could probably talk myself into three hundred, uh, three talk myself into it. But three hundred dollars and having to rearrange my collection to accommodate is an easy pass. I didn't even think about that, just like where people are at in their collections and stuff. But what I do think I like about these dioramas and displays and stuff is the fact that uh, it is a really nice and compelling way to display your toys, right? Um, and I'm not a huge diorama fan because it ends up being the kind of stacked tiered toy thing. And in general, that's not how I prefer to display my toys. I like I'm kind of in action with play sets, vehicles and stuff like that. But I think this one's a lot of fun and it kind of breaks up that kind of, you know, tiered monotony that even the, the street scene kind of is just a tiered shelf. That's, you know, a bit more dynamic. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see corn viper, the people that buy multiple hazards to resell, are crazy rich i can't have that much cash time to it's fair that's fair um let's see uh i spent six hundred dollars on super seven steak mountain that felt worth it I, I, and we talked about that earlier you know with the cat slayer it's 650 and well, you're getting your bang for your buck uh with that guy but you know there's a lot more turtles fans than there are uh thundercats fans and that could be an influence there it's just like okay we know how many thundercats diehards there are that would sacrifice the dough and the space for this thing versus mm. NECA's like, okay, well, we know there's a way more turtle fans. So we're hedging mm. our bets that enough of them will buy this for $300. Clearly, you know, on the turtles um, note, if you were around and for those around in 19, 88 i was in the first grade at the time and mm -hmm. basically like when the big three started going downhill like motu basically called it quits at that at the 87 movie mm -hmm. transformers that was their last like 
season in North America. They had this three part the, the three part episode. Then GI yeah. Joe that was their movie. They all sort of like left media at the time, even though Transformers and GI Joe kept going. Everything was about turtles in '88. So yeah. like um, there's so there's a lot more nostalgia for turtles than there is yeah. for most lines, including Thundercats. Even though yeah. Thundercats was still pretty popular, yep. turtles hit that level of the big three. Well, and it's, and it's held. It's been yes. they and they've iterated, and like each generation has has their own TMNT, which carries over as well, right? There's the original that went to like '97, and then you had Next Mutation that lasted for two episodes, and then you had the 2003 and the the 2007 movie and the 2012. Oh, um, they so, had the they they had the the, the live action with, uh, with 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 Venus that they what, yeah the next that's next mutation right I think. oh sorry and I was gonna say next mutation then crossed over into Power Rangers in space and did that that team up episode yeah. so like there's <laughs> there's so much there and so many synergies you have with yes. TMNT yeah so yeah um, uh, let's see uh, Riley Bob five hundred thirty people are all hitting the like button right right yeah please hit the like button if you haven't hit it yet yeah, thank I'm you everybody not for used to out. talking in front of five hundred thirty people this is kind of cool. Uh, it's <laughs> to me it makes no difference because uh i i love hanging and talking toys and to me what makes it great is you all talking in the chat so keep it coming keep the conversations coming i know not all 534 are in the chat right now because I, I met a lot of people at PowerCon and a lot of them are like i don't i don't talk in the chat i'm a lurker but i love mm -hmm. watching y'all uh that, so yeah that, that happened to me at joe fest as well where somebody yeah. was like oh me and my dad watch you every single week but we never comment in the chat yeah. and i'm like oh that's that's really humbling to hear so yeah so you know but i will say for the 500 some odd people that are watching right now uh just make a comment in the chat you know be a part of the fun have fun with it um but there's more super chats here so let me bless those in before i forget uh let's see riley bob if this was a 90s movie turtle layer i'd be in but that's fair i would have a harder time if it was a 90s turtle layer because that's the only thing that like every piece i will get is the 1990 turtle neca turtle figures and if they did one that was a pretty accurate recreation of a good chunk of the that movie's layer what? i'd be a lot more tempted um uh, see, Smuggler's Notch V-Ball, two shoebox diorama accessory set for $250 would have been a good deal slash fair. That way you can use the play feature of an empty room for the garage. Absolutely. Uh, Definitive Toys, $5. Super chat, thanks so much. But what price are we looking at it all in, including Donatello's Lab, Kitchen Training? It's, oh, absolutely. You're well over 1000 bucks once you all the accessories, once you get all the different, you know, square spaces. Mm -hmm. um, absolutely. There, there is something to be said about putting it all together and saying, Look at my display. Because imagine the uh, the the city set sitting right above it, mm -hmm. you know, and event the eventual Donatello set and all that. So yeah. there is something to be said about that, you know. Just yep. you know, to be to be a little bit fair about it, right? So, yep. Yeah. Um, are there some lurkers that have chatted? Uh, yeah. Pop actors full of crap josh friends are covering yeah you've been chatting it up I, i've seen you in here let's see uh waffle maker lurker for life uh russian 61 mostly look lurker saying hi hello hello uh fowler go, right? brown here's my comment in the chat good to see you um any other lurkers uh yeah just, just if you're a lurker i know i know i'm only the guest host tonight but you're all welcome here even if you're the lurker you know what i mean if you type, type in a comment you're you're among friends yeah, you don't have to life. if you don't want don't don't feel pressured but just so you know, you're welcome. Everybody's welcome. Um, so uh, Snake Mountain, I think Danny K. Worth, oh, if you're, yes, the current Snake Mountain's only 84, um, but the larger scale one, the Super 7, there was $600, but still an insane value compared to this. I love lamp oh, yeah. <laughs> under 200 lamp, Johnny Kiro. Um, so the floosh in the house, legendary. Oh, no way. Legendary. Hey, how you doing? Love your channel, by the way uh big fan i feel like i've been absorbing foosh content for over 20 years um yes big 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 fans of the foosh here i wonder because I know, I know the foosh is the group i don't know if that's robo there or if it's somebody else but uh, uh anyway. any of them uh, any of them, uh yeah. i tried to, i've still haven't met robo in real life yet and i kept trying to at PowerCon, and uh he's he's so friendly and has conversations with every every time i like went by he was talking to somebody and mm. then decide to, so one day, one day I'll meet Robo and say, hey, um, but yeah, big, big fans uh, of the Foosh here. Um, nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying. I'm trying. Anyway, huge fan. Um, okay. Uh, let's see. Where are we at here? Oh, let's check in with the poll. Yes. So 
if you had to guess, can I don't know if you're looking at the poll or not? I'm not. Okay. Uh, how many would you buy at two hundred dollars? Where do you think this consortium of five hundred and fifty five people? I think two hundred thirty people have voted. What would you, the, the previous one was eighty nine said no, eleven said yes at three hundred dollars. Where do you think it sits at two hundred dollars? I'm going to go 60, 40, 60 said yes. 40 said no. I'm totally not looking at the poll. So it could be way wrong or way right. Okay. Uh, it is 39% said yes. 61% said no. So oh, a, I had it backwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a, that's still pretty, that's much closer to 50, 50 than the yeah. other one. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Um, awesome. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's like all flustered for there. Like, oh, it's, <laughs> this is where I'll pop out and say, well, at 200 Canadian, I would have bought it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, uh, I was, I got, I don't know what happened the later hours meetup, but if you watch After Dark, you know, it got crazy. It got crazy. Um, um, yeah, absolutely. The weekly is one of the greatest things on YouTube for toy collectors. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, yeah. It it is the standard. It is a standard. Um, 150 yeah. bucks, Simon. So yeah, you know, I think get out of here, Black Phoenix. You comment a lot. You've been commenting for years. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Um, lurking to hit the line. Thanks, take two. Uh, and then uh, I only lurk for Robo. <laughs> um. Uh, Jared Burke's Lurker Alert. I'm going to stick with my Playmate Sewer Lair and Technodrama's backups for my NECA collection. You know, that's another thing here, too, is there's a lot of other turtle stuff you can use in a pinch, right, to be your background. Yes. Yeah. Um, Tom, I agree. The Weekly is our Saturday morning cartoon. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. That or um, whatever that Secret Galaxy's got up um, for his... Uh... Oh, when is the uh, the tunes thing? The Saturday morning. Yeah, just just love going back in time like that. You know. What I mean? yeah, agreed. Anyway. Agreed. Um, Matt Bush, five dollars. Jay was hanging in the guys' room, being gifted. Yeah, it was it was nuts. It was a nuts a nuts night. But it was great. It was, it was a lot of fun. I maybe I, I gotta see if he would want to maybe jump onto one of these sometimes. He's he's a crazy cat, crazy crazy cat. I think y'all would have a lot of fun with him. Um, okay. I said, we can't talk about this anymore. But I, but I feel like uh, we've okay. we've hit all the points on this thing, right? We we have we, we've used about half the show time on it, which is about fair, you know. Yes. We front loaded it with the NECA stuff, so all right, that's it's, fair. That's one hundred percent. It's the hot topic. It's the hot topic in the toy collecting topic. this week. But I think, in short, final thoughts here. I think for both of us, we think it's overpriced. Um, yeah. it looks great. I all the NECA Toon Turtle stuff, all the NECA stuff. Period looks great, but it it feels like there's a cost creep on all the turtles stuff. Um, and this is not even a cost creep. This is like a cost leap. And I think that's where you're getting a lot of the people venting frustration about it. And I think it's a fair venting of frustration. Um, Ken froze at that for cost leap, uh, uh, pun. Um, back yet? so back you're, are you still there? You just froze. You're like, ah! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use that from now on cost leap, not cost creep i really should hardwire in rather than rely on my wi-fi but anyway yeah it's a little tip on uh, streaming always hardwire if you can if you can when in yeah. doubt use your wife's laptop that's that's really what you should do um inside joke but uh, that's a, that's not so not at this point not yeah not so inside joke <laughs> yeah it's like it's, uh, i don't know how many people still get that joke it's been a couple of years but anyway okay um let's move on Ken, uh, I am a diehard Ghostbuster fan. A lot of people think like Motu is my favorite thing or whatever is my favorite thing, but Ghostbusters is my true love. Number one, number one love. Um, and uh, excited for the new Ghostbusters film. I'm guess I'm assuming we we'll get more Ghostbusters merch. Um, but this company that I've heard of, but I have never bought anything from, Star Ace, is oh. doing this roughly 12 inch tall soft vinyl Stay Puffed. And there's something about big Stay Puffs that no one has ever nailed, like 100%. Right? Yes, you got the Kenner one there, right? <laughs> Which, that is, to me, the Kenner one kind of still is the standard. Right? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make you big screen. There. We'll, we'll give you a chance to shine on, on your... Yeah. I, I asked for this for Christmas in 1987. When I got it, I was like, I, I'm... 
I'm sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick on you, little guy. But I was kind of hoping he would be this size, so yeah. that <laughs> you know, in well, order to go up against but, like Ghostbusters. I'm just saying, right? But, okay, <laughs> but here's the thing: a lot of people forget that they had the plush uh, Stay Puffed. They did. So they did. so that was to me because I I still have my stuff play uh, Stay Puff up there as a childhood survivor. I've had it since I was I don't know how whenever I got it. And it has been, it was my standard for the big Stay Puff. But both that Kenner one and the Kenner plush Stay Puff to me are still yeah. uh, the a best lot of people are, Stay Puffs. A lot of people are reminding us in, in the chat. Uh, I think just because it's a plush, it falls under a different part of your headspace. But you know I think I mean? even on the box, it showed that you could play with the figures with the plush Stay Puff. Anyway, okay. okay. Fair, enough. Fair enough. We're splitting hairs here on this thing, okay? Yes. But yes. This one actually looks pretty phenomenal, but I do have some nitpicks. Mm. But still, this I love the cloth apron. Um, I, I the happy face looks pretty close, it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close, and just the texture of it looks incredible. Um, yeah. so for me, this is a buy, this is an instant buy. I think this is one of the better looking stay puffs we've got. Like to me, the Maddie Collector one just kind of looked goofy. Um, the Neko one is a classic, but still, it doesn't look like the movie Stay Puffed. Um, my favorite one that's ever been is the Diamond Select uh, Angry uh, uh, Puff. Um, mm. Actually, I'm going to get that in a second. But, but uh, Ken, what's your thoughts here on this one while I go get my, my Diamond Select bank? God, it just it does look it does look good. I mean, um, they've got it posed properly just for the purpose of advertising it. Like I'm, I'm not super, um, familiar with this company myself, but like, they've got it right there, 30 centimeters tall. Yeah. Um, so it's, I mean, 30 centimeters tall, that's, that's a hot toy size. Yeah, right? exactly. So, yep. um, yeah, you're right. Vintage plushie, notwithstanding this, they know in this era that they're going to be targeting collectors yes. to a, to a wide degree. And yeah, um, this could do it. And, and it's, it's scaled in a way that you could use it with anything, your vintage, you know, your diamond selects, you know, so there, there's some flexibility here with its play value yeah, and the, display value. The fact that it's, yeah, I think 30 centimeters, uh, you, you're, yeah, you're Canadian. So is it about 12 inches, 30 centimeters? Yeah, we, we have to make that conversion all the time. So yes. Um. <laughs> for us weird americans still holding on to the, the last vestiges of um um the whole it's like it's like fahrenheit i go into every chat people are like oh my god it's you know it's 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 86 here i'm like are you kidding me that's not even possible boiling's 100 they're like stupid canadian you know and you're and you're and you're celsius like oh right right you know so now you know. see don't use canadian air because the the uh the it's imperial right is it imperial what's the metric Metric, metric what, yeah, imperial. metric. Are we imperial and you're metric? I think anyway. you're imperial and we're metric. Okay, yeah. so the metric system is everywhere else except for us and maybe a few other places. But okay, so this face looks great. So there's two versions. Yes. There's one where you pay a little bit extra and you get the angry face stay puff. This mm. is where I have a problem with this set because that was never in the <laughs> Ghostbusters movie. That is someone who looked at the recent hasbro mini puffs and one of the head sculpts has that face on it Th uh -oh. this was never in the ghostbusters film and this is what this is as a ghostbusters diehard this pisses me off and i i really i hope they can actually do a good angry face because to me the best angry face safe puff is this one i'm gonna go big in a second but i this is a miss and i would pay the extra 30 bucks if it was a good uh, a look of the angry state puff, but this isn't even, it, it's a mini puff head. It's uh it's Pillsbury Doughboy angry. That, that's yes. what I see. I, I don't even see state puff. I see Pillsbury Doughboy, but you know, Hey, there's a friend of ours in the chat who does replacement heads. I just got his master <laughs> verse verse one head, you know, for my Dolph he man. So, you know, there is hope out there. I mean, yeah, it won't come with the set, but there's hope, you know, just saying, I guess I drive it. I, Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. I, had, I have a bunch of mini puffs around my HasLab proton pack. All right. Mm -hmm. So this that's the extra head you're getting for like 30 bucks more. Um, and it literally looks just like like it they look they took that <laughs> head. <laughs> that's literally what they did. Come on, yeah, it's literally it's... that's it. Uh, yeah. Um, so but but uh, this is the Comic-Con exclusive Angry Face Bank. 
And to me, this is perfect. Like this, they need to look at this thing and do it just like this. Cause this is the perfect angry face. Like that, that looks like from the movie. That is fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. This is, this is what we got in 1984. Right. So, so like it's looking up at them as he's like, you know, ticked off, you know? Mm -hmm. And so uh, I, you know, I highly doubt, I highly doubt anybody from star ace watches the stream, but I'm just going to put it out there in the internet worlds in the, in the interwebs. Mm -hmm. And hopefully enough people kind of push back on this because this has a chance to be the greatest stay puffed ever. But mm -hmm. this extra head sculpt is holding it back. Yeah, a lot of people will just go with the main head sculpt. Absolutely. You know, and, just be, and just be done with it. Because if, if Star Ace is more of a boutique level company, it means that things sure. like this will sell out and they'll just have to get it regardless. right? But it'd be nice if something if something changed. It's mm -hmm. probably too late in the game now to do it. Right? Yeah. Um, I, yeah. I don't know. Why not? I, I, I don't know the ins and outs of this company. Just it's a head. Just swap it. Just throw that. Take it. The road in the trash, and start over. <laughs> well, Mondo did replace a bunch of was it Shira heads that had the nose bump on it. So you yeah, know? yeah, I, right. You know, yeah. We um, actually had one of the Mondo sculptors in the chat earlier. Sculpt Viper, Viper Tommy was was in here earlier. Um, well, so sorry, Jay. The great staple would be the Galactus height or the uh, or the Mattel big, but that's the thing. That big one that Mattel made for Maddie Collector didn't look great. It had another kind of dopey face. It didn't do the the face well. Um, uh, see all of the star ace releases are all misses well I, again i have no idea about this company i've never heard of i've never seen their stuff before whatever but i think the regular face is pretty good like i think that looks good yes. um like this is so to me I, and people are asking like, is this worth 200 two nine dollars not with the extra head no but i think the regular release is like a buck 60 or something like that without the extra head in hands mm. and in that world i i'm in for the buck 60 Fair. But I hope they do another one and uh, and and get better. Jacob Walsh, I remember him saying this on um, Toy Anxiety this past week. I have multiple mm -hmm. Star Ace Harryhausen figures, and they're all perfect. So, hmm. you know that. And Jacob, I trust, I trust Jacob Walsh on that. Um, Happy birthday, Jacob! That's oh, you're right. I'm a horrible friend. Happy birthday, Jacob. Uh, I've, I've never talked to Jacob in real time, but happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think the regular face is great. It's just the the weird mini puff here i will let's have the angry but i also love that the the aprons cloth yeah we've got a close-up shot there it is like come on you you literally you, you yeah. cheated on your homework you you, you bought this figure like ah that looks that's close enough it's like when you copy homework from the person with the wrong answer and yes. the teacher knows because exactly. you both put the, both, both put the, the wrong answer Exactly. You know, exactly. Exactly what this feels, what this feels like. I do enjoy when you get to talk about Ghostbusters though, because you kind of get known as like this He Man number one, TMNT yeah. number two. Mm -hmm. You know, Kenner superpowers when you know this yeah. when that other Canadian guy is on the stream. <laughs> um, and then you don't get to talk Ghostbusters as much. I, I have a lot of loves, cool. a lot of loves. I and I love them. I love them all. But GB is my number one. My number one. Yeah. Um, my number one. <sighs> At least you um, can right. you can pick your number one. It's hard for me to pick a number one, so you know it's very clear. Number one, and probably TM and TUB two. I, it's I, it's again. It's like number one. Everything else is number two. Basically, how mm. it feels. But I love them all. I don't love them all that less. But I know Ghostbusters is my favorite. Um, with so many Ghostbusters toys coming out, Jay should talk about them more. Wait, there is there more ghost? It's because really, Baducci uh, uh, or Phantasm Toys are the only people doing Ghostbusters stuff on the regular. Um, but I will say, with the new movie coming out, I assume there's going to be more toys. Like if you follow the channel a couple of years ago, most of the stuff I was reviewing was Ghostbuster stuff, but there hasn't been much new Ghostbuster stuff. But anyway, all right. Um, let's talk about some charts. Ken, you ready? Let's do it. How's the speaking of ghosts? Busters, let's talk about <laughs> Ghost. Um, that's kind of plateaued. It's like this close to uh, to Ezra at eleven thousand. All right, and uh, so it's easy to get Ezra, but there's two other things to unlock. We have Kanan at fourteen thousand and Zeb at seventeen thousand. Yep. Um, it's now trending pretty significant. I mean, not significantly, but it is trending lower than the Razor Crest. But 
Ahsoka starts this Tuesday. Ahsoka coming for the toy anxiety time slot. Bold move. Disney, oh, I'm it, not cool. Is with it that, Tuesday? But... Is it Tuesday, not Wednesday, that Ahsoka comes? No, out? it's Tuesday at like <sighs> nine o'clock Eastern. <gasps> huh. So I, huh. I, I mean, maybe, maybe Disney. But it's, but it's, heard only, about but it's only a thirty-minute episode, right? So then they can go. I think so. So right like after. maybe, <laughs> yeah, like we could do Ahsoka and just jump into toy anxiety. Um, <laughs> bravo. <Sorry. Yeah. laughs> we can do better than ever <laughs> they got me last episode when they suddenly switched to the nwo music like i was listening <laughs> while folding folding laundry and i thought that like youtube had auto played the next video uh-huh. and i turned around and i was like come on <laughs> and i commented right away on that so anyway um but to me i think once ahsoka drops and I don't know how much the ghost is going to be featured, but you know, I've heard Filoni say pretty much it's like a sequel series to to Rebels. Mm-hmm. And if that's the case, and the ghost is featured prominently, if it mm-hmm. is, I feel like there's going to be an Ahsoka bump for this thing that easily gets it to Zeb at seventeen thousand. Mm-hmm. And they don't blow it up like they did with the Razor Crest, so you know. Uh, I pff, they better not. They be- Again, I've heard that uh, you know there was a ghost like ship in. Uh, not Revenge of Revenge of Skywalker. I don't know what the hell was that thing. Rise, called? Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. I, I only that's the only Star Wars movie I only saw once in theaters, and that was enough for me forever <laughs> and ever and ever. But I I am a I am a, a Last Jedi fan. I love the Last Jedi for what it's worth. I haven't decided. Um, five years later, I haven't decided how I feel about Last Jedi, or six years later, whatever it is. I haven't. Decided I really adored it. it in theater. And I recently watched it, and I do think, and I'm not saying there's not critiques to be had, but I thought it was refreshing how they basically got out of the, the let's keep doing the Skywalker saga over and over and over again. Let's do something new. And I thought it was a, a really bold take. Really, you know, not the same level of Luke, I am your father, but that was a bold take for Empire and the Star Wars at the time. And I thought they were also doing something bold with Last Jedi, and I appreciated it. Um, and, and shake and wash, and signing off. I saw that. I was like, uh, I know where he stands. Just, I, and again, I know it's controversial. I'm not denying that. I'm, that's just my opinion. Uh-huh. Just my opinion. Hey, I, I heard Jacob Walsh has a silver YouTube play button. He does. Because he has like this viral video out there of like going on. Not, you know. Space- no, I just think Jacob's a better YouTuber than all of us, right? If you have the silver play, that's what that means. I've only been around a couple of years. I can take him. No, uh, no, I can't. <laughs> no, no, I can't. Silver play button's a long ways off for me. So, um, <laughs> I, 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 the, people that, the things you can critique in that movie, I'm not going to argue. You know, I think they're fair. But you, there's like things like that in every Star Wars movie. There's a lot of silly stuff in Star Wars. I just thought it was fun. Okay, anyway, um, let's move on. Um, let's see. I'm also a, a Last Jedi. I waited a lifetime to see Leia use Force. Absolutely. Mm. Um, uh, well, Jay, I'd agree with you, but then we'd both be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, Andy Silva, I agree with you, Jay. I think Last Jedi, I think Last Jedi, despite some faults, has been very underrated. Rise of Skywalker, however, bleh, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. <laughs> um, <laughs> hitting the dislike button, JK. <laughs> It's it's interaction, you know. Uh, also, I should be getting the second YouTube play button a month. Damn, see, Jacob's got it figured out. We're all clearly doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So let's keep moving on here. Um, Super Seven charts. Let's talk about the Cat's Lair. Yes, which has also kind of just been humming along. It hit the three thousand, so it unlocked the key, and it's only gotten two hundred and forty cents since. So it's just kind of. Um, but this one's got tons of time. It's got till September 17th. And I think easily the lab is within play. And I also think the Astral Eye knows in play because there's a lot of people, including myself, still haven't backed the thing yet. And I have all intentions to. Mm. Um I haven't backed it, so I just talk about no skin in the game. It's just one of those things that's just really, really nice. And I have a few Super Seven Thundercats, but mm-hmm. Couldn't pull the trigger on this one. Just wasn't quite feeling it. Let's put it that way. Um, uh, so. Jacob gets a surprising amount of birthday views on his. You know what? I didn't even think about that. It's all the birthday views. So is he like 180 years old now or something like that? Because, you know, uh, maybe old. depends. Uh, Colleen, I'm sorry. I got to get it. I didn't realize she was watching, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm getting it. Sorry. 
I love you. So um. All right, Ken. Uh, Target Fall Geek Out is coming. Yep. And uh, McFarlane Toys, Lego, Mattel, Hasbro, Funko, NECA. More money to light on fire. Um, I guess uh, does this affect the because there's no targets in Canada. Is this like a Toys R Us thing, or is it completely out of you, you all don't get this stuff? Um, I personally haven't paid attention to it in Canada. Like I usually just watch all the news online um, on it, so I'm not actually sure. I don't think we get it at all. Um, mm -hmm. I think it's one of those things that I know some of the Canadian friends I have, they set up like a shipping box in the U S like one of those reshipment services. Mm -hmm. And then they ship it across. That's about the only like participation I see, like among my circle of friends, maybe I'm just ignorant. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so I mean, it's not, it's not off my radar, but I didn't, I wasn't one of those things. I was like, Ooh, I can't wait for that. Cause I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to load up or anything like that. Right. So I don't know. Sorry. Was that a cop out answer? I don't know. No, no, no. I, I, I it's no, it's good to know. It's good to know. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Toys R Us gets some of it. Okay. So there you go. Not a feeling they would naturally, but like how much mm -hmm. of it is really the, uh, anyway. Um, September is a three paycheck month for me. Hello, Cat Slayer. Nice. Nice. And, and Hung Wen, thank you. It's for the channel, Colleen. It's for the channel. <laughs> regular me, regular Jay, I wouldn't get it. I wouldn't get it. But, you know, I, for the channel, I have to. It's, I need to get it for it's for the content, you know. Got to got to make content. I would I would never get it personally, honey. I promise. But it's I have to do it for everybody here. It's like I, they expect me to. So really, I, I, my hands are tied. My hands are tied is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sure. What he said. Like <laughs> I need it for the bit. <laughs> Colleen's not having right it, off, gentlemen. <laughs> write it off for the taxes, tax education. Right education right right I, i'm gonna use it in a video for review boom there we go can you, can, can you use the whole value Please. to write off or is there like a, is there a yes i think so in that instance because it's not like equipment that i have to like you know use over a period of time i think it's just like a one-off tax write-off so really it's uh you know gotta spend money to make money exactly andy stutes it's, it's exactly see everybody thank you so much for supporting it uh, yeah, you're you gonna change. get 40, 40 million views on it to make to make back the money right so that's, that's what it's gonna take on youtube so, <laughs> we demanded you know it. on ad revenue yeah we demanded it blame us uh, it's, 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 i just i gotta do it for them colleen it's not for me it's it's for everybody here you know uh <laughs> oh thank you matt bush we expect you to get a delorean thank you absolutely Let's just keep this going. Let's just my dream list of stupid stuff I shouldn't buy. Can we just keep this thing going? Uh, anyways, um, where is it living? In my office. Plenty of. But yeah, I think the maybe floor. the future episode of Divorce Court. Um, Another courtroom session for Jay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I don't know if I want any more. <laughs> but, okay. but, but I'm a good Christian. Uh, I'm not. Uh, can, uh, before we have a special segment. That I got to close with now because people sent in some things to my email. So um, before we get to that, Ken, yes, uh, Delta Seventeen, uh, a line yes. that you're you're a part of. I, I wanted to give you you know some space here to kind of update us on the Delta Seventeen line. Sure. I mean, you know, Jay, just I, I know you've got this platform and I didn't want to like bombard you with it while we were developing it. But sure. We've actually been working on it for about the last three years. Mm -hmm. um, now that actually predates Toy Connections. So the actual like owner of the line is my friend Steve, right? I've been working mm -hmm. on it as a consultant. I've been helping sure. him story wise and just, you know, helping him get um, get resources like we needed a webmaster. Mm -hmm. you Note to self, the webmaster's in the chat. His name might also be Jay um, mm -hmm. for our website, um, helping him like like source the factory just all that all all the sort of like miscellaneous stuff and mm -hmm. some of the story writing i've been doing but delta 17 basically is a military three and three quarter inch o-ring line we've got 11 figures um in wave one. Oh, you got the website pulled up great <clears throat> thank you mega j retro um <laughs> yes um so we've got if, if you go to i think story um they, it might show, yeah, so you got three factions, basically. So Delta 17 is the main good guy faction, and then the main villain faction is the Dark Shadows. They're, like, um, they're they're based out of, like, it's rumored that their base is on an offshore area of Japan, so their main their main villain looks like a samurai. He's called Shadow Dragon, and they hire a mercenary fraction, faction called Retrograd. 
And that's, um, if you click on any of those logos, I think it'll probably take you directly to, um, to having a look at some of the characters. Um, so yeah, if you look at this, yeah, so there you go. You've got the enemy, Death Sparrow. That's what she's going to mm. look like on card. Um, that was a mock-up that was done. Um, this is this is the final FEP factory sample. That's what she'll look like on card. Oh, um, it's in one of the here. star cases. It's one of the star cases right now. So this is the factory uh, final engineering pilot from the factory where we need to thicken up her head a little bit by increasing the pressure into the injection mold. Um, I wrote the bio on the back. Very proud of that. Awesome. Um, that's my contribution. Um, Tommy, who was in the chat earlier, did the sculpt here. Steve did the did the um, did the line art, yep. and then had a colorist come in and do some of the the coloring. I think the gentleman's name was Wem, and we had a gentleman named Raf do the art on the back. So that's that's what this is. Um, so can this you take is, it out of the box? Can we see it out of the little case there? Or yeah, no, well, you another one. Yeah, here, yeah. Can, let's look at that. You yeah. can, but I may as well show you the other one here. This is another character named Preacher. Um, he's another one where the head was about 10% too narrow. So we're going to mm -hmm. get that changed on the final one. Production's happening right now in China. So um, he's one of the good guys. So you can see the Delta 17 logo on uh, there. Okay, nice. That's how you know. And then with, with Death Sparrow, you see she's got the Retrograd logo right here. Yeah, right? yeah. So, um, yeah. And, yeah, so we've got 11 unique um, figures happening in Wave 1. Although mm -hmm. the, the good guy army builder will come in multiple ethnicities. So you can say that there are 12 different um, characters or figures that you can buy. Um, yeah, that's the army builder called the Thunder Battalion um, nice. for the for Retrograd. That's, they basically consist of Spetsnaz operatives. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so, so basically, that that's the army builder. That's the army builder that... Um, Death Sparrow command. So each faction has their own army builder. That's pretty cool. Yes, basically that's what I'm trying to say, right? Yeah. And yeah, so this is Delta 17. Their Shepherd, he's a second lieutenant. He's the he's basically the leader of this of this unit, the Delta 17. The that's reason cool. it's called War in the Shadows, which is an I which is a tagline I pitched to Steve about two years ago, and yeah, he, it, it stuck. Um, is because it's it's almost like behind the scenes, your own government has corrupt officials that are working against you. Sure. And they're actually secretly funding the Dark Shadows. Ooh. Right. So it's almost like an Illuminati sort of thing. And these, sure. the, you know, these characters, they're completely off the books. Um, so anything they do, what I always say is that in the story, there will be no rewards, no medals, nothing. Yeah. Right. Like this, that's why it happens in the shadows. You're not doing this for glory. Ah, right. Okay. But the goal is to stop retrograde and stop the dark yeah. shadows. That's, that's kind of how it is. The first issue of the comic, I just sent the script to Steve two weeks ago. He's doing some storyboard work right now. That'll be a free online comic that we're trying to get launched before the end of this year. It might be January at this, at this rate. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but yeah, you can see all the card mock-ups there. We're hoping to get the, uh, the um, actual like factory engineering pilot samples on there soon. So we'll let, Nice. mega j no went to get that updated so yeah um so when is when, cool. so when does uh when does the order like when people start, start ordering these like when does that happen when's the big okay um so um november like they're supposed to finish production in the in mid late october then it should okay. take about a month to get here so i'm telling everyone that it's going to be before the end of the year and you never really know too right because with production i'm not sure what could hold us up like is the factory going to ask us a question in the middle and it takes a week to decide yeah. something because even like like i said we had to thicken up some of the heads we had to mm -hmm. change some of the paint schemes around um some of the faces came out lighter than they were supposed to or darker mm -hmm. than they were supposed to yeah. so we ended up even pushing back production by two weeks yeah. So we who knows what else is going to happen. But before the end of the year, we plan to have this in hand. Um, the planned MSRP is 25 US. Mm -hmm. um, when they land, we're going to see if we can get it a dollar or two lower, but plan on 25 US. Yep. And we're talking to retail partners right now to get this thing, um, to get this all lined up. So, Love yeah. Love yeah. It. Well, uh, Ken, I know this is something you've been working on and supporting for a while. Super happy for you and everybody that's that's been that's been working on these i think there's a lot of really fun character designs and um I, i'm a sucker for o-rings uh so yeah i think these these look really freaking cool um and yeah we'll 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 definitely keep everyone posted on it but you can go to delta 17 toys.com and it's delta 17 toys 
Facebook.com. And then are the socials Delta 17 toys as well? Or what are the socials? Uh, you could, for? you could just search up Delta 17 on, uh, on, on Facebook and on Instagram. Okay. Perfect. Um, it'll also be in the, in the links of my latest live stream earlier today that I had with toy habits and Wilhelm toy and hobby. Mm-hmm. And Steve was actually there showing the rest of, he was showing the loose versions of these engineering because nice. he only sent me a few of the, uh, yeah. a few of the carded ones just for my own collection to keep. He's like, here, you've worked hard give you this nice that's right awesome. and yeah we kept tight lipped until joe fest this year then we unveiled it and then all of a sudden everybody was like what what's this no kickstarter like no we're we're funded we're going we're going see there we go there uh, we go right so, i love this compare these up some of the skeletron figures absolutely i think they pair up well we with those actually talked i talked to marco burn about that and we were basically saying look we know people are going to buy some of your stuff some of yeah. ours and make this like extended head cannon because when gi joe real american hero released their their waves year after year there were a lot of figures per per wave yeah we can't keep up with that so yeah. like if you buy some skeletron some call sign long yeah. some of this you yeah. know you're going to end up kind of getting the GI Joe experience in an yeah. ad hoc manner from your fellow fans. I love that. I think that's right? a ton of fun. Uh, yes. These look dope. Uh, Cyber uh, Ninja style is a weakness for me. Yeah. Uh, Riley, Bob. Uh, yes. Can fictional characters on the dark side of the government, fictional characters. Um, I, yeah, uh, I, I, I couldn't <laughs> lean too hard into the whole conspiracy thing. Cause I know that that's kind of, that's kind of what we're, we're loosely angling at. You know what I mean? Yeah, so better, I had yeah, to keep saying me. fictional. I had to keep yes. saying fictional, even though I know well, there's probably some real well, things to going me, on. It's just like, it's funny how I, to me, I, you look at the mission impossible films where progressively like the government gets like more and more, you can't trust it. Like even through the mission impossible films, like even this last one was like, Oh, you can't, it's, you can only trust Ethan hunts. That's it. It's the only person everybody basically else you it. can't trust. Um, basically. It. Uh, but yeah. anyway, okay. okay. Um, Let's move on from here, Ken, because you didn't want to do this. And I was fine with that as long as people didn't send anything in. But, Ken, the people yep. have spoken. We have gotten several submissions for a stump, Ken. All right. Now, All right. I do believe in giving you autonomy to choose whether or not to take part in this. But, Ken, would you like to do a stump, Ken, to close out uh, close this out today? If nobody holds it against me and completely <laughs> forgets if I make a fool of myself, let's just do it because I know the chat's going to say yes. So I'm just going to like, I'll let myself be peer pressured and talked into it. So <laughs> let's go. This right, doesn't so go I, against John's win, win loss record. It doesn't, by the way, it okay? doesn't it right? Because this it is it's like a separate category because we've done stump that dole. Yeah, um, yeah. It, yeah, this, this, this is like an amateur boxing match. It doesn't go on on, on John's professional Exactly. Record. This is, this is like a, go. was it a, a minor card? I, I don't know the terms. Um, we'll just we say gotta, non, non, non-sanctioned. We'll just go. Yeah, there, there you go. There you go. Um, okay. So I have three submissions here. I'm going to bring them all into this. Uh, but it's true. Dan says this is for Canada's record. Canada is undefeated right now. What? Did Dole do really well Dole, in the last Dole, one? Dole is currently... He's a current champ, you know. He he has the belt technically, so Canada is undefeated. Ken, no pressure. He does not have the belt. He does not have the belt. I say, come get it, Dole, but I'll hear a knock on my door. So that, that <laughs> He's actually just across happens, the street. So. He's just across the street. Uh, uh, yeah, that's the Kennedy I'm here for. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah, I think Dole and I are still on the same Wi-Fi network. So when I when I had the little <laughs> little glitch earlier, he was probably streaming uh, some god. bootleg copy of a of, of Ahsoka in 4K. Oh uh, my so. god! Anyway. Uh, I love this from Renders. Confuse that, Ken. <laughs> that's that may as well call it that. Let's let's go with it. Uh, I ain't Dole. That's a WWE belt, you lose. <laughs> <laughs> But should we call it the Brian Adams belt? Is that the <laughs> it's Canadian to Canadian? Um, okay. All right. Let's let's do this. Uh, right. Hold on. I got to get the music going here. Where is it at? It's that time again. It's time to stump Ken on his knowledge of all things toy accessories. He's not necessarily known for it, but people have chosen to try and stump him in a segment we're calling Confuse That Ken. No, stump that Ken. So everybody, wherever we're all around the world, it's time to do what? It's time to stop that kid. All right. 
these first submissions. Um, he's got the belt, y'all. He's out of control. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, Allison. Okay. Can Thanks, that Allison. stump stump that Barbie? <laughs> Is Ken the Bret Hart of toy trivia? <laughs> <laughs> confuse that Ken confuse that Ken I, maybe that's what's sticking here Ken confuse that Ken <laughs> uh, I kind of okay. like it I kind of like it I kind of like it too it's got you know I'm a sucker for alliteration I'm a sucker for alliteration um, okay all right um, this first one a mutual friend a uh, friend of the channel also a fellow uh, great toy tuber um, brick something sent in Rick. these multiple accessories and right. put them in a really nice, you know, visual uh, way. So I'll pull them up here. There's multiple accessories. Just throw it all out there. Whatever you think, whatever you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, the one at the top left, you know, kind of looks like... Um, you know, a sword Optimus Prime would wield. Um, you know, the other one looks like a belt that Bret Hart would wear. And I'm uh -huh. totally not being, I'm totally, to totally deflecting and not being funny here. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Oh, oh, I got to pass on this, on, on this one. Oh, wait, it's that figure up there. Okay. <laughs> hey, all right. All right. He got it. He got it. He got it. He even got the little Ralph, the, the, the little Ralph head up, up there. Yes. Thank you so much, Brick, for hell helping us advertise but about Delta 17. Yes, so, so these are all Delta 17s, right? Yes, they are all Delta 17s. Yes. Oh, that's why you weren't th that's why you weren't quite getting what I was uh, No, no, I, why, why I, I, was I had a feeling where I was like I don't remember seeing a Tommy gun, but maybe I missed the Tommy gun. I, maybe I missed that one. All the rest kind Yes. Of... <laughs> wow, Brick put that together in a few minutes. That's amazing. Uh, so... I, he, uh, let's see when did he send this. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we'll, we'll we'll just say I'm 0 for 1, you know. <laughs> right. Couldn't even get a line right that he worked on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you got it. Okay. Uh, this next one, also, yeah. you know, tying into the Canadian theme, uh, this one was sent in by, make sure I get the name right, uh, Rick. Rick sent this in. Uh, right. Actually, a pop actor. Maybe I wasn't pop supposed to say pop Rick. actor's All name. Right. Anyway, name. here we go. Here's a Canadian accessory. That's your only clue you're getting. The only clue. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's a helmet. For a Voltron? Nope. Oh. The best hint I can give you is Canadian. Oh, okay. Canadian. Canadian. A Goodness. Canadian influence toy, but yeah. it's not it is a it is a real toy now, but it didn't its first appearance wasn't as a toy, but it was I I guess I can't do any more than that. But anyway. Okay. All right then. Can I just open the chat and just look? No, you can't look. <laughs> you can't look. Um, Canadian. Who's the, who's the Canuck toy? with all the luck? That's I guess that's the only other clue. Oh, uh, can't be Vindicator from uh, from 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 uh, Alpha Flight. No, nope. Alpha Flight. No, it's not Alpha Flight. Is it? Is it uh, Johnny? No, um, Johnny Canuck. Not Johnny Canuck. Nope. Not Johnny Canuck. Okay. Well, I can't. I can't get. Uh, Okay, I opened up the chat. Somebody said something about Toy Story 3. Maybe yes. that's about Duke Kaboom. Yeah, there's no way I was going to get that one. There was no way. Are you right. not a Toy okay. Story 4 fan? Because you should be, because Toy Story 4 is yet another fantastic Toy Story film. Uh, but yes, Duke Kaboom, played by Keanu Reeves, a, okay. a somewhat Canadian version of Evil Knievel. Okay. All right. All right. Damn. What kind of Canadian doesn't get it right? Sorry, Dole. That's uh, can, you, can you hear me through the window, Dole? Anyway. <laughs> yeah, he um, can hear me. All right, let's uh let's go to this last one here. Do I have it up or do I need to go get it? Okay, I think I need to get it. Hold on, sorry. It's the last accessory. This one, I feel like you should this is like a this is a gimme, I feel like. So this one was sent in. Uh Sean, I believe, sent this one in. So let me pull it up here. Oh, yeah, Star Wars. Um, it's <laughs> it's only to one blaster? figure. I know, I know. Like it's not Leia's blaster. It's um it's not an Imperial blaster. It's like a rebel, it's a rebel blaster. 
No, I think just, you had it. I think you had it's the first thing you said. But Leia, okay, I, I am gonna go with Princess Leia. I'm just trying to. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just we'll just say it's Kenner Princess Leia. Let's just go. It is it. the Princess Leia. I'm pretty sure that's Leia's blaster. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Let me double check. I, I no, think you know what it is? Is it's the whole like translucent versus really dark thing that everyone always gets. So sure. I'm like, look, because my Princess Leia blaster downstairs is a lot more blue than this. Well, right? I think so. That's yeah, what always yeah. gets me whenever I go to the yeah. Star Wars sites. Anyway, we'll just we'll just say I got it. We'll just it's it's Leia's. <laughs> it's Leia's. I, I can't remember if it's the. The the Cinnabon hair is the the darker one, and the blue one is the Bespin, but the, it's the same one. But anyway, yes, Leia's blaster. Yeah, yes, headbutts, because I I went Leia blaster, then I went to Rebel blaster, then I'm like, no, I gotta go. She's part of the Rebels. I went back. Like, Let's just do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> yeah. Let's so no, it's it's it, it's so. uh, a New Hope blaster. Um, because it's very yeah. specific, and then Best Spin Leia has the more blue tinged uh blaster. But I did um, hear that on the on the buns one, if when when it was when the ink was running out of the machine or whatever it is, or when the dye was running out of the machine, you still mm -hmm. got a few blue ones with it, is what I was told. Oh, but then I once went on a on, on a page and everyone goes, No, it's wrong, it's wrong. And I'm like, Yeah, but if, if you can tell this one's not intentionally blue, it looks like faded pigment. I'm like, no, nah, you're wrong, it's 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 from the Empire version. Like, All right, whatever whatever so all i know is it's so hard i'm so glad i completed my collection before the advent all right it's not complete i'm sorry i am missing yak face but everything else is complete. i'm so glad i completed it before the advent of almost undetectable repro accessories because it does so you have most of the last 17 then i have them all except for yak face wow wow um, i have one i have i have uh goodness I have Anakin. I, I have Anakin. That's about yeah, it. Yeah, Anakin's a good one. Uh, and I was fortunate enough He's to cheaper, get though. Luke, uh, uh, Stormtrooper Luke, that it was, it got on eBay. It was the card back and it was like a exacto knife cut card. And I saw the bubble and it still had the blaster taped to the side of the, the bubble, which that's wow. one of the, the rarest, most expensive uh, uh, Star Wars, vintage Star Wars accessories because it's, it's the only one of the Stormtrooper blasters that's like all black really 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 hard expensive uh accessory um wow oh yes oh yes it is I, it I, was I, mint with card meat with card super mint yeah i i did pass on a on, on a stormtrooper look a couple of years ago with the blue black blaster yeah i know I a lot of people it. say that and because there's some debate right we know that the full black blaster came with them but there was some debate about whether the blue black blaster came with them i think it's black, people so. saying it so they don't feel bad that they don't have a real complete one <laughs> <laughs> says jay who's got the real complete ones so, exactly yeah. i can yeah. sit here in my tower looking down over everybody else yeah <laughs> um the ivory see. tower <laughs> yeah exactly uh the watcher says question for geek dead life do you think there's a chance that neko would ever make the 23 why not i i think it's an amazing toy line. the one thing i will say is i think those toys still really hold up that they look really good and they're not that expensive either yeah, that was popular around the same time as the Mike Young Productions He-Man stuff. Yeah. Um, and I feel that this that has aged better than than that era of He-Man stuff. Sure. So, I don't know. But like, he, that just... He-Man stuff's kind of more expensive than the Turtles stuff on the whole. Well, because um, the people who like it really love it, though, right? Yeah. Because that was just a yeah. damn good cartoon. And this was a good cartoon, too, it the was. 2003 Turtles stuff. Both so, were. Yeah. I love that crossover yeah. and all the different eras and everything. All right, Ken. I think that'll wrap it up. Uh, everybody, if this is your first time seeing ken for one i'm sorry this is the first time because ken is a treasure Ooh, it's upside is, down oh, oh, it's, it's, <laughs> totally botched that <laughs> uh, now i can't do it uh ken uh has that he's been a friend of the channel for years at this point um but you you do a great job uh you can find ken at toy connections on youtube it's right there toy connections um and you should go to his channel and you should subscribe to it let me see if i can pull it up real quick um but uh, ken anything upcoming on your channel that people should be on the lookout for um, yeah, I mean, I, I will do a ramen toy video, um, either tomorrow or Tuesday, depending on how I feel. Um, and then at the end of the week, I do have a history of Transformers 1986 that I worked Ooh. on with Wilhelm Toy and Hobby. So that'll be like a longer premiere style of video. Um, so close to 4,000 subscribers now. So, um, if you haven't yeah, subscribed already, we already... Oh, come on. Can we get Ken to 4,000 subscribers tonight? So everybody watching here, yeah, or if you're watching it the next day, more people watch it the next day than watch it live. Go to Toy Connection if you haven't done it yet and hit the subscribe button. He's so close to 4K. Let's make it happen. You will not be disappointed. 
Ken does a great job with his history videos. He does live streams as well. Um, yeah, please, 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 please go to Toy Connections uh, and hit the subscribe and the bell. See, I'm, look, I'm already subscribed and belled up uh, uh, for Toy Connections. Um, That's so please, amazing. Uh, uh, go over there. If you've enjoyed Ken here, he's even better on his own. Actually, no, you were great tonight, Ken. You did a fantastic <laughs> job. Uh, but you're, Two you're, out of three uh, on Stump Ken, even though one of them was like a real gimme and the other one was like an almost gimme. But, it doesn't matter. Know, thank you for going easy on me tonight. I didn't even people. choose. I would have been hard on you, but that's what the people well, decided I'm, to I'm submit. talking to the chat. I'm talking to the chat. <laughs> Especially Brick something. <laughs> He's out of control. Okay, there is an I after party line. to this thing uh, tonight. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, dioramas versus play sets. If you are a patron, um, Ken, I know you, you have family dinner, so you can't go. Um, and then, oh, good. I just had to double check because I, I sent this message before we went live. Um, so... Uh, Ken might jump in a little bit later. We're talking about dioramas versus places as well as our toy halls. Uh, but also, for the first time ever on a GDL anything, friend of the channel, uh, Brick Something, will be joining us for After Dark. Um, so that should be a lot of fun. Um, I got all, I got some toy halls to share as well. Um, but the, the main theme is just dioramas versus play sets. Which is better? Which is worse? Come, let's hash it out tonight in After Dark. Um, so like in five or so minutes, uh, I still have to send uh, Brick a link. So don't worry, Brick, I'm going to send that right now. And then Ken, you already had the link as well. So if you can come back at some point in it, uh, you're more than welcome. But for any bits of patron, $5 or more a month, come hang out with us in After Dark. Everybody in the chat, this was a ton of fun tonight. Uh, for all the lurkers that, that said hi for the first time, thank you so much. Thank you for everybody that watches this, all the patrons, all everybody. Take care. And until next time, hasta luego. Bye. Have a great night and week, everybody.